March the 9th. March the 9th. A rainy day in Carolina. Rainy, I was supposed to yeah. get a haircut today and that didn't work out. Yeah. So, but, uh, it's the kind of day you just want to stay in and stitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or record a floss tube. So anyway, we are back with our floss tube number 23 and Peter's with me. And he's going to play us in. What are you going to play today, Peter? Well, this is a little song. Seems how it is a rainy day in Carolina. And then everybody uh -huh. kind of gets the blues and down on a rainy day. That's This one's called It Won't Rain Always. Oh, okay. Which is by way of, word of encouragement. Actually, it's a Bill Gaither song. Oh, it is. It is, yeah. So it's like, like a hymn almost? No, it's not a <laughs> not hymn. hymm. Uh, but the other lady who you love to sing there. I can't remember her oh, name. Oh, yeah, Cynthia Clausen. Yeah. Cynthia Clausen oh. sang this. And I thought it sounded oh, so sure good. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm singing it, so it's not going to be anywhere near. <laughs> but the message, this is what the, yeah, well, the, message, the is message is good. And so. Peter made us an espresso, so we're going to enjoy that. So y'all go get something to drink and bring your stitching back and just spend, spend your time with Hopefully us Hopefully it won't spill our coffee all over the place like we have done in the past. I moved my stitching over here. Oh, wait, we did introduce, introduce name, our names, right? Oh, well, I just said Kathy and Peter. Okay. Carolina Cross Stitcher and Pete's <laughs> Beats. Pete's Beats Caps, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got a yeah. bunch of stuff to show you, so I guess yes, we ought to we get, get going right along here. And we're going to try to go kind of fast today, so we don't keep y'all for a long, long, long time. Uh, at my age, there is nothing. Uh, fast is not in my vocabulary now. Yeah. Except, and I've lived in the South all my life, and we don't move real fast in the <laughs> South. Those that are from the South. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see if we can do this a little bit here. I thank you all for watching. Thank you for uh, your patience. Yes. And I hope this will bless you a little bit here. Yeah. Just have floss too. Even, even though it's raining and wet and cold out, uh, a, a lovely song from the Lord always always blesses my yeah, heart and mine just too. puts a smile on my face. And hopefully y'all's <laughs> as well. Thank you for listening yeah. to that. I'm gonna put the video down. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. I get together, get together a 
friend of mine, every Thursday night we have dinner and then we get our guitars out and yeah. we make all kinds of mistakes and messing up and left and right. But yeah. man, we have a good time picking and grinning. Yeah, <laughs> me and Barbara watch game shows. We've yeah. told y'all about that before. <laughs> anyway, before we get too deep into whips and FOs and wood and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> I did want to make an announcement in my last floss tube. I had think I think I had talked about uh, that I had heard punch needle and primitive stitching was not going to have a physical hard copy magazine anymore. That was totally wrong. I got a really nice email from Ann Heath, and she's seen. She says, "Hi, I've seen the post from Punch Needle addressing rumors." I wanted to be sure to get the information to you so that you can include a correction in your next video. And that's what I'm doing, Anne. I really appreciate you sending that to us and letting us know. I don't know how these things get started, but they do. So we'll get that corrected. Yeah. Um, she said, uh, putting a rumor to rest, punch needle and primitive stitcher is not... <laughs> Bye, Leo. <laughs> Bye, Leo. Is not, not going to digital Sorry. only. We will continue to be available in print and digital formats. Excuse me, no barking. Uh, yeah, we have to stop it along the way. We will. It will be heard. But anyway, uh, so glad that they're still going to have a hard copy magazine because their magazine is actually so classy and just beautiful. Excuse me, just oh, he just went downstairs. Yeah, well, he stayed there though. He stayed there. Okay, maybe. Uh, there he goes. He's got to go warn the film man's probably here and he needs to make sure that he doesn't do anything untoward. Is that mail man? I yep. have no idea. I bet you it's mail. It's 125. It may be 120, 152. So anyway, y'all have probably already heard this, uh, but I just wanted, <laughs> since we had mentioned it on our floss tube, I just wanted to make sure that that correction was in here. And I really thank you, Ann, for letting us know. Good job, Ann. Good job, Ann. Keep us straight here. Uh, we also... Um, our last floss tube, we had asked y'all, we had a giveaway of um, Sunday Stitches, Amazing Grace, and uh, also Blessed Assurance, because I have stitched both of these. I wanted to pass on the blessing of these beautiful charts. And I asked y'all if you would comment on what you, you're stitching on currently. And I tell you, I love reading your comments. It was so much fun. I thank you for playing along. Um, so we're gonna announce the winner, but first, I put together a little video. It's a short video of what y'all said you were stitching on. I just pulled the charts and kind of did a little video. And uh, I think you might enjoy it. But next time, I tell you, it would be so great if we could show the charts that you're stitching on, but also show your stitching. So if you would like to share your stitching with us, you can email us at peatsbskeps at gmail.com and send us a picture. And then we can actually show your progress. We can have like a whip parade of our viewers wouldn't that be fun i mean <laughs> that would be so much fun That's but i did idea. i had a lot of fun putting this little video together it's only like two minutes long but anyway we're gonna insert it here and we'll be back in just a few minutes there you go
Okay, we're back. <laughs> Did you like that? Wasn't that fun to see what everybody was stitching job. on? It took a little more than two minutes to put all that together. But yeah, it's yeah. Well worth it. well, it's like two minutes and 30 seconds yeah, or something like very that. Nice, yeah, very nice. Good job on well, that. It was fun. I just really enjoyed it. I love seeing what y'all were stitching. And guess what? <laughs> y'all enabled me. <laughs> Because uh -oh. <laughs> I got some of those charts that I didn't have. Whoa. <laughs> uh, anyway, I wanted to, we wanted to announce the winners. All right, uh, here we go. Yeah, Tammy Morgan, you Yay. have won Blessed Assurance. Yay. Congratulations. Congratulations, Tammy. So let me put this up here. I hope you can see it. My printer is not, not that great. Tammy Morgan. Print's okay. You just need to... Uh... Four, ink. 1487. Well, I just put ink in it not too long ago. Yeah, uh, that thing drinks ink. But anyway, Tammy said, Hi, so nice to see you all. Blessed Assurance is so beautiful. Love the colors. Your stitching is fabulous. Happy stitching. Uh, Thank you, Tammy. So email us your address, and um, we'll get that sent out to you right away. And then that was Blessed Assurance. And then Amazing Grace, <laughs> the winner is... Oh, I was so tickled when this came up. Sandy, stitching with Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> stitching, stitching with Sandy. She said, Pete, I just love listening to your rendition of Amazing Grace. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thank you. <laughs> yeah, Peter said a little while ago, he said, I said, what are you going to play? And he said, oh, I don't think we have time to do that. I said, yes, we have time. People like to hear you play. And She's I like always to hear pushing you play. me. Yep. Anyway, so she said the two of you are absolutely adorable. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, so send okay. us an email and I'll get these going your way, okay? Super. Okay, wonderful. wonderful. And thanks Happy for playing stitching. the law. That, that was just so much fun. Um, let's see, that we had one more announcement. Okay. We wanted to thank Liz uh, yes. from Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch. She did a floss tube from Market, mm -hmm. Nashville Market. And uh, she mentioned us in her floss tube when she got home. Uh, we had sent her a tiny town spool and a, a frill in appreciation for all she's done <laughs> and for shouting us out and for doing the tutorial uh, of how to do a finish. She is such a better teacher <laughs> than I am. Oh, yeah. yeah, so a lot of people have done that, have uh, followed her tutorial, and we had a post on Instagram. I got tagged. And let me see if I can find it here. Hang on. Um, want to pull this up. So you couldn't down, we couldn't download the video there and, yeah. and uh, insert it into the our floss tube. So you, we're going to try to hold the iPad up here and see if we can. Yeah. And this was every from, licensing law in the country. Here. Look at Bonify for how she looks at you. Okay. Can we... <laughs> so easily distracted. <laughs> oh okay. Here we go. So keep shiny did... things away from her. Yeah. Saved. Here we go. Stitch. All right, home stretch. I think hopefully and our this is Molly McMaker. Her post on Instagram, and I asked her if it was okay if we shared it on Floss Tube, and she said absolutely. So here is her finish. I hope you can see that. Ooh, Isn't right. that beautiful? No sound. Yeah, I don't know where the sound is. Okay, let's see if I can find it. Oh, okay, here we go. Because she did a nice little Christmas. <laughs> oh my. Okay, watch again. There we go. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the Christmas spirit again already. Yeah. Isn't that darling? <laughs> and then she's got a, uh, the, the, um, Frill. Well, this is no, the, not, the Valentine's, the, the, oh gosh, Valentine's. Valentine's. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, that's that's a lot of fun. Thank you, Molly, for tagging us in Instagram and help, letting us uh, see your finish. You did a beautiful job on did that. did a great job. That's and really I will nice. also link Liz's uh, tutorial down in the description below. If y'all haven't seen it, you need to go watch it if you've got a tiny town and a spool. Because she just does a, a great job in letting us know Very well. how to go about doing it simply and beautifully. So... That takes care of our announcements, the punch needle on primitive stitcher. Now we've played the video, we've announced the giveaway. So what does this floss tube have for you? <laughs> we've got a lot, don't we? We sure do. Yeah. yeah. So we better get to it. So yeah, can, uh, we've got FOs, we start Christmas shopping new stuff, starts, right? uh, whips, haul plans, giveaway, another giveaway. And uh, <laughs> Peter will be sharing a scripture with us at the end, excuse me. Uh, one thing we did want to say is my friend Donna came over a couple weeks ago and we had so much fun. Uh, uh, yeah. 
Did a whip parade. <laughs> we did a whip parade, a two-part whip parade. We had 72 whips between the both of us, which is a lot of whips. Yeah. And it was so amazing. By the end of it, we did not have one whip that was the same. How about that? We had such a variety. What a quinky dink. All kinds of different, you know, from um, just, just all kinds of different stitches, smalls to large to samplers to... Yeah. Halloween and Christmas, lots of Christmas, just a lot of fun. So if y'all haven't watched that, uh, please go check both of them out, part one and part two. Uh, a lot of what I showed or don't show today, uh, because we've had a long time since we've seen you guys, was shown in the whip parade. So I'm just going to go from when we did the whip parade forward in the whips. Gotcha. Yeah. You must have done a lot last time you did that because when Donna came down here, she was whipped. She was whipped. <laughs> And she can't. And it's a lot more than just sitting down in front of a camera talking Ooh. into her. <laughs> you don't realize until out. you do this. What, I had a nice what, break for me. Well, not really a break because I'm down there. Uh, well, you were up here working. I was down there whipping it in the shop. There working. Yeah, we have been I've so been doing. So busy. Yeah. I, I just, I, I'm thankful for it. I Very really thankful. am. Yeah. But wow, it's like I'm working now harder in my life yeah. than I ever have when I worked a secular job. I know. You get up early and you, I mean, well, y'all know. A secular we job, I had coffee before. breaks, I got a lunch break, I had all these kind of things. <laughs> I get some lunch now, break, but he he takes a nap during his lunch She goes out in the garage and throws raw meat at me once in a while and says, keep working. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, we might have to pause the Etsy store for a little while just to kind of get caught up on some of the orders. I'm afraid so. We've had to turn some things down. Here. Matter of fact, yeah, we've, we've and we, we hate that because we, we wanted to really get into shops. Y'all know we've talked about that, and we were going to, um, we were going to send stuff to StitchCon, which would have been awesome. Crafty and you. also to Crafty You for their um, Still City Stitchers retreat. Yeah. But we just... Peter can't do it. He's, I, he's I can't. A, I can't. Yeah. I mean, I could work 24 hours a day and still not be able to meet the, make the uh, yeah. deadlines on things. Well, the, so. our first obligation is to our customers Yeah. Uh, on yeah. Etsy. Yeah, they and, order and, and I've got to fulfill them. And, right. and that's just, yeah, just that's, that's more than a full-time job. more than a full-time so job. I'm thankful for that. So, but, uh, me uh, too. Me too. Well, um, do you want me to just go ahead and start with sure. whips? Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, I'll keep the well, furry football here on my lap. Okay, we'll that's see the only what way the... to keep them quiet. Apparently. Okay. Okay. Well, I have some FF, some FOs. I don't have any FFOs yet, <laughs> but hopefully, I will. Uh, coming soon. I did. This was a call for Whipgo, mm -hmm. and it was the Prairie Schooler, 2017. When I did my whip parade, when me and Donna did the whip parade, I couldn't find this one. I could not find it. I looked everywhere. I told Donna about it, and I was getting so frustrated. You know, you go to bed, and you think about it, and where did I put it? Well, this week, because it came up on my whip parade, on not my whip parade, on my whip go, I knew I had to find it because I wanted to work on it. And I thought, okay, I'm going to go back. <laughs> yeah, no stress around the household here. I'm going to go back yeah, through the bag yours. that it should be in, okay, right? The bag that it should have been in from the beginning. Guess what? It was here. <laughs> this bag has so much stuff in it. It was just buried. So I just dumped the whole thing out and found it. How about that? Is that crazy or what? It is. Absolutely crazy. So anyway, here is my Prairie Schooler Santa. I did not do the uh, North Pole up at the top or the frame around it. I just prefer just to have the, the feature on the Santa and the bear. I just think that's so cute. So that's my stitching. And that's an F.O. Yahoo! Let's make a nice little frame to put that in. I know. And in fact, I just got some frames last week. They were clearing out some office. Had some pictures there and really nice frames. So I uh, I absconded with them. I know. Mm. Well, let repurpose, me do... repurpose them. And I found my um, Red Rooster sampler. Red Rooster. This also was on my whip ray from Feb... Not whip ray. I'm going to get that. Okay, y'all forgive me. Whip go. <laughs> Senior moment, folks. <laughs> For February, the Antique Red Rooster Sampler. And y'all saw this in um, my whip parade, but I finished it finally. My goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I started it back in February of 22. It should not take me two years to finish it. Don't you stop beating yourself well, up. Anyway, show it to them. anyway, I am stitching it on 32 count Weeks Style Works linen uh, with Cupid. Classic color it's works really cute. It? Yeah, it's really variegated. Very nice. But anyway, I used because it's 32 count, I used mm -hmm. two over two, 
and I just dropped one. It took four, four skeins, almost. Well, this isn't quite, so three and a half skeins. So if y'all were doing this, make sure you get, you know, plenty uh, of it. Anyway, buy I love JBW. Floss. I love her designs. Buy more floss. When in doubt, buy floss. And here is my FO. Pretty. It doesn't fit quite on this board, but you get an idea. So I want this uh, framed with glass, and it's going to go in my kitchen over the the door. Nice. It's like we've got a lot of red in our kitchen. That, and that's beautiful red against that material. It really is, isn't it? It is. Now, on, you can tell, and okay, I didn't, I wasn't going to rip it out, but starting over here, this is where I started. This is where I started over here. And then I went down here and did this rooster. I wanted to get to him. And I did the two flosses together so you would get the full variegation. But I decided I, I, for the rest of it, I just wanted to have it so it was let, it was subtle and not kind of in your face like this is. So I did the loop method with two strands. And you still get variegation, but it's not extreme. So I'm happy with it. That's nice. Thank you, darling. Yep, yep. Put it in the list. We'll get a frame. See you, Leo. You be good boy now. Yeah, I know it's hard. Okay, I'm going to show you my FOs, and then Peter's going to show you some stuff. Stuff. Some stuff. Yeah. And this one I haven't, I've never showed in my whips or in my whip parade, because this is one I started <laughs> uh, with. That's nice. Yeah. It's on Ada, like 14 count Ada or yeah. 16 count. It'll be holes. Yeah, big holes. Even I can see easy, those. Easy to see. Yeah, no, but there were some uh, friends in our MC, which is our missional community, which is like a care group at church. Church care group. Yeah, they wanted to learn how to cross stitch. So I said, well, let me put some little kits together. So I put three kits together. Very simple kits, you know, with Ada. And she says she's not a teacher. Well, I'm not really a teacher. Well, well I mean, this I, I just showed. <laughs> anyway, so I had one that was blue, one green, and one red, and I let them choose what color they want, and then I took what was left. But anyway, this was uh, from Liz Matthews. She she sent, and I, it's a free chart, so I really can't show it to you up close, but you get an idea. It's hope. <laughs> <laughs> Snapshot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I did the bottom one, and they're working on it. But I think it turned out real cute. I'm just going to do a little pillow. And that is just in DMC uh, number 311. 311. Blue. 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 I would like to do it on like a 36 count with a variegated. Okay. Or maybe do not that same one, but do the bigger one. Yeah. Some, yeah. Sometime yeah. when you have nothing else to do. Okay. So that is... FO number three, and then FO number four, which I've been working on this one for a while, and this came up on, <laughs> this was on my whip go too, and I'm stitching this on 28 count Weeks Dye Works Natural 10 Roof Gingham. Let me show you the chart and the floss. And this is Merry Christmas, Primitive Merry Christmas Pillow. Y'all saw this in, in uh, if you watched the whip parade, it was in that. And all I had, I think I had the C or the H or something. I just had a little bit done. So Donna gave me mar marching orders to get this, get working on this. And I took it to um, our Wake Forest Library Stitchers. Hey, White Wake Forest Library Stitchers. <laughs> and I worked on it there and then finished it, which I was so glad to get it finished. Um, anyway, and here's the floss. It's classic color works. No, gentle arts, classic color works. And weak style works and DMC. Well, so a combination, there, yeah. combination of colors. Yeah, nice. Very Christmassy. And I don't mind, you know, some people are seasonal stitchers. You know, they won't stitch Christmas except at Christmas. Or they won't stitch... Halloween, except at Halloween, but I stitch everything anytime. There I you just, go. Hey, I, it doesn't take much to get me into Christmas spirit. Right, me either. But anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed working on this, and I can't wait to get a pillow That's done. That's so pretty. And I want a rusty jingle bell to go on it. Oh, that would be nice. Wouldn't that be pretty? Just a little added, little doodaddy on it. And Carol, my friend, I know you want this. I'm going to be sending this to you, okay? 
I put a note down in there, send to Carol when I finish. So I'm going to get it your way. Okay, friend? So that, I believe, yes, that was my last FO. Very nice. Very nice. That was fun. It's fun to get stuff finished. It is. Or at least to this point, you know, yep. where the stitching's done. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And the FFO will follow through. FFO will come. <laughs> Don't know when, but right. it'll come. All right. Super. So, my turn. Football. Well, yeah, you go. Ask the ball. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, trying to ignore him here. You don't hear the floor whining. I was trying to. Me and Donna well, better went Such a needy animal, said, I tell you. No football. We're not playing football. <laughs> How do we okay. get such a needy animal? You know, yeah, dogs usually leave them alone. You feed them, water them, and. They no, sleep. they love Not this they guy. Love, love. He's got to be all up in our business all the time and stuff. And anyhow, um, wham, 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 wham. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess I just pick one here, didn't I? Yep. Yes. Um, Kathy showed me a uh, a needle minder that one of her friends I can't remember who Judy. It was. It was Judy. Judy. Hey, Judy. Hey, Judy. Uh, and uh, showed me a picture of the a needle minder that uh, looked like a little bowl or something oh, like that. And it was I beautiful. Thought, well, you know, I like making spools and stuff, so I thought maybe I'll make a little spool and uh, or see if I could uh, put a magnet in it and make a little needle minder out of a spool. And that's what I did. I took a piece of spare walnut and I had around here in the shop. See, it's just a little thin spool. And I've got, there you can see a needle on there. And, oh, that really held good. <laughs> well, this isn't. The needles are holding on needles. real good. This isn't real metal. I, well, yeah, it, it is sticks too. a little bit. It is, but I think it's because it's concave. It's not getting yes, on the whole thing yes, there. Yes, but when I'm sitting on the in side, my spot, it stays. Yeah. Yeah. When you, if you set it on the side like that. Like that. Well, you can try it. You try it. Okay. No, and we've got one of the big okay. um, earth magnets in it. Yeah. Okay, so it's not going to hold that. Well, for that, for needles, though, it worked like a champ. What I did was I, I drilled a hole up in the bottom here and went up as close as I could to inside here and then glued a with one of those earth magnets in. And for needles, it, it holds just Works fine. Great. There's yeah. no problem with needles. <laughs> no, it's holding. Oh, no, yeah, needle miner is a little bit too wide. I think it's because see the space, it's not really making yeah. connection there at yeah. that. See, it's actually pushing away from it. Isn't that something? Yeah, I know. Is that the magnetism is pushing the needle. I put it on there, it pushes it away. So. Apparently, my, the magnet doesn't like your needle, you know, whatever needle this thing is. It's a threader. That's right. You see, it just push it right off of there. I know. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Wow, it's like a sci-fi movie with this strange spirit <laughs> going on here. Anyway, so this is uh, just some. It was a lot. I had an idea. I thought it was fun to do, and so I tried to not imitate, but just come up with something else that I well, could do. Well, you tried to make that. it your own, and I think you did with the spools because we make yeah. so many different spools. Yeah, so a little needle miner. We're going to get some. I'll we'll get some more of these made out of different woods because I got a lot of this spare cherry, walnut, maple, mm -hmm. and other. Pe I still got some pecan in that. Well, that would be pretty cedar. Pecan. Mm -hmm. It would uh, be wonderful to make a couple of these and there, like that. Like that. So they might be in our shop one of these days is when, when Peter gets caught up. Yeah, yeah. which will probably be next to never. <laughs> well. But, Anyway, so thank that's, you, Judy, for you that might, idea. Yeah, that thank was you for a that. great idea. I Matter of fact, that. I think we should make her one for, because she had that idea. We should. Did you hear that, folks? <laughs> we should. What we means, let me interpret that for you. We means me. You know, you get married, you become one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to see her out there on the lane. <laughs> oh. All right. I know we mean. Okay, I guess, um, let's see. I don't know what, is, what should I go to next. I, I don't know. Okay, well, I, I did have another idea that I kind of thought, and then Kathy kind of called me back on it here last night a little bit. Gently, I'm still bruised. But anyway. No, with the, tell him the reason I called you back. See? <laughs> See, he doesn't give the whole story. Okay, the rest of the story. I'm going to. I was trying to. You mm -hmm. quit okay. interrupting. I could do okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go downstairs and stitch. All my Y'all have fun. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> For all my spools, I, I put a little design, a little ring around there where I put the holes in. This happens to be a, a one cut for a nebby needle. And in the bottom, the little plug, nothing going on there. But, you know, when you do so many of these things, you have a tendency to get bored. And you get, my I, my mind wanders. And, well, it always has. Ever since I was, well, I'm a man. That happens. Yeah. And but I come up with some ideas, so I thought that you know I liked it how I burned these these hair for you know, a little accent there for the top and the bottom of the drum. I thought, well, it would be nice to kind of burn in the, the holes here for accents as well, too. So, uh, but this happened in between of a very large order I was doing, so I got I got a bunch of uh, tiny towns done and nebbies with the bottoms that didn't have anything on 
burn, but then halfway through, I decided, well, I'm going to burn, and I came up with and something that, like everything this. Everything does change. I mean, there's a definite um, progression. Progression. Not necessarily that the, so, what you started with was bad at all. But, it's just you're adding different things. You're just making yeah, it different. Making yeah, making a difference. The same thing like that, but here's a nebby needle in cherry. This one is in maple. You can see the and difference. You can see the, the difference in the, the top there like that. How that kind of sticks out. I still got the, you know, little uh, cut in there for that. And I also did it on the bottom too. So I thought that, hey, I want the bottoms to look as nice as the top. And uh, Tell me what you did that with. Yeah, I use a, a, a popsicle stick. I, I cut a groove in here that I stick a popsicle stick in and it's rotating <coughs> around about 900 RPM. It starts smoking. And it starts smoking, <laughs> yeah. So I, I do a lot of smoking there on that. Uh, yeah, my um, only concern, you gonna tell them what my concern was? Well, I ain't got to it yet. Okay, well, don't show everything. You don't show everything. Okay, all right, already. The only thing that Kathy brought up last night ever so gently was that all the pictures we have in our Etsy shop are of our spools that are made without the burning mark. Mm -hmm. I started making these and she thinks, well, maybe she has concern, rightfully so. Some people may not like that. I don't know. Uh, but um, Well, it's just, you know, people look at a picture and they think, okay, I'm going to get one that's similar to that. Similar. Because we let similar. people know, you know, this. these are pictures of, of what Peter makes and you know, then we it's like three to four weeks for him to make them. Mm -hmm. So, so they're expecting that, and then they get something that's not that, and they think, "Oh, well, this is different. I like it, but it's different." So, I go ahead, speak. Don't know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just like she said. So anyway, I started putting these accents in there, and I'm not going to show all the other ones there, because cause then, then I'll ruin the, the party there. But I, I'm going to show this one, because what? I'm going to show the difference of when, see, I want to cut this. I didn't do the bottom there. Right, you didn't. Okay, yeah. can I show that one? Okay, sure. Yeah, I love Thank that you. wood. All right. You're welcome. <laughs> Piece of Purple Heart. You would not believe how heavy this little booger is. I tell you, this is some of the most dense wood that comes out of South America. Yeah. But when I cut these a few weeks ago, because, see, I have to do things in process now. If I do a bunch of tiny towns... I got 15, 20, 30 of them. Want some coffee. I'll cut them and shape them and then assembly lines up, put them aside, and then get other processes done. I get back to this again, then I finish the sides of it. They're all nice and smooth and all that kind of stuff. And then I get to work on the top and bottoms. Well, I worked on the bottom of this one, and this is, I, I did put a little uh, ring on the bottom because I think it's a nice added feature I in that. Her part's so pretty. But by the time, and then put this away, and I'm working on other ones, by the time I get back to these guys here again, I'm already burning the, my little things in the top. Popsicles out. Popsicle sticks out. I'm having fun with popsicle <laughs> sticks and burning stuff out in my shop. I've got a bunch of popsicle sticks up here. Yeah, well, i got a bunch too. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, but I might need them. Way if, I, if this takes off, I mean, everybody, I don't know. So anyway, but I can also, see, I can still put this in my, i got a special chuck and adapter. I can turn this and spin this and put a burn in the mark. Or I can leave it like it is. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, either which way, so I didn't, that's why the top isn't ma exactly matching the bottom there, but yeah, uh, on this yeah. tiny town, Purple Heart. But Beautiful. But I think I'd like to go burn them in because, you know, actually, it's actually easier for me than, because when I do this, I don't have to sand as much. And man, I hate sanding. That's the worst part of this whole job no, that I do is sanding. Yeah. I like starting a job, cutting, shaping, and actually putting the finish on it where it's nice. And it's good, that's nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Maybe a little cheese with that wine there. <laughs> but sanding is a dirty job. It is. Yeah. But if I could get Kathy to come down here and help me, then she could do all my sanding for me. I that's don't not going to happen. <laughs> anyway, I'm just teasing on that. So that's that's the new. That's the only thing that I can do different. I'm always trying to think something else to put something, a, a different type of a shape. Because, I, you know, I just like to keep things different and yeah. whatnot. And well, I just... Y'all, please give us your opinion. If you order something, get something in that's a little bit different, does that concern you? Or should we have an option of burn marks on the top and on the bottom or plain? I mean, and just let people... A tiny town or a nebby needle, it's nothing changed. It's maybe a little bit different looking, but it's not... I don't think or just let or just allow this man who everybody loves your work to, to do, <laughs> his, do his thing and, and be happy. I mean... What do you think? Well, you Tell know, bottom you... line here, though, you get something, and if it isn't right, we make it right. Yeah, so we'll make it right. We will. Yeah. So, but uh, anyway, so we're going to show you ahead of time. So if you get one, you say, oh, my gosh, there's a burn mark in the top of my thing. Where did I, I come from? I didn't order that. What did the mail service do? Well, I'll, I'll respond back. <laughs> I didn't charge you for it either, so. <laughs> oh, 
I love yeah. room for a little creativity there, but uh, mm -hmm. you will get a suitable uh, the, the, the spool will be sized and all that kind of stuff. It. So Okay. Okay. Um, okay Leo, you're going to have to get down a little bit. Yes, right get down. Here, Go nice away. Come back next Christmas. Okay. I have a new start. Yay. My friend Krista, the wildflower stitcher, <laughs> she... Um, she saw that, that I had posted or you know, had talked about um, Trilly, the Trilly, the, the Spanish stitcher and her new charts and how beautiful they were. And she said, hey, you want to do a sow? I said, yes, yes, yes. So she fell in love with um, this chart. Okay, let me find it. It's Lydia Hooton Sampler by the Spanish stitcher. H-U-Y-T-O-N, different name, interesting last name. I know. Spanish, I guess, Spanish. Yeah. So anyway, we, we started this. Um, pretty. Very pretty. And she, I think, Trelly did it in... Um, Colorful alphabet there. Yeah, in flower threads. But you know, since Brenda mentioned flower threads, you can't get them anymore. Brenda, the, uh, Brenda and the cereal Where you go, started. Brenda. Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> no, <it's, laughs> you're, oh, you're the one. <laughs> I tell you, if Brenda mentions it, everybody, matter of fact, I've got something in my hall that Brenda mentioned. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm stitching this on 36 Count R&R &R Espresso, and, and we started it on February 1st. It was our February, February 1st start stitch along with Krista. Hashtag Lydia Hooten Sampler, and also, I think it's hashtag uh, the Spanish Stitcher. And I will show you, I'll link her shop below. She has an Etsy shop. She's a new designer. And oh my gosh, well, y'all saw her last time. I've shown several of her things. And she is just a sweetheart. But anyway, I'm stitching them with the DMC conversion that she gave. And I just, uh, where are you putting this? Make, make some useful. Well, thank you. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this is my progress on Lydia Hooten. I got down to the first basket. Yahoo! Haven't finished that basket yet, so I've got to finish that one, do the center basket, and then the other one on the other side, and the border, and I'll be done. And this is the cutest little sampler. Okay, we'll put my hand up so you can see how little it is. 36 count. And it's got a little dog in it. Yep. It just, oh, Donna, my friend, when I showed this in our whip parade, <laughs> uh, she said, oh, it looks like a box of crayons. Yeah, it is. It is beautiful. And it really does. All those different colors, yeah. I you, just love this on the R&R. &R. You did show them the floss, right? I showed them the, I think I showed, I think. I don't I think you did. Okay. I don't think you showed the floss. You just threw it at me and told me to put it in the bag. Wait a minute. Need the floss. Pretty, 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 yeah. pretty. It's for some pretty letters there. Here you go, sweet. Okie That was Very a nice. new start. Good job. That is my only new start. As Leo terrorizes his bed over there on the floor. Yeah. I was going to have another new start, um, the sunny side sampler um, for February the 29th, leap year. Leap year day start. But I, or, I ended up, I wanted to order the floss. I had I, I messaged... Vicki Clayton to see if she had done a silk conversion for that. And she had not, but she said she would. And I got that in day before yesterday. So I'm going to get it ready to go and get it started. Because I want that for my leap year start. Beautiful. Really pretty. That'll be nice. Okay, I'm still stitching on my Sunday stitch. Which is, I will cling to the old rugged cross. Oh, yeah, I like that. By Beth Twist, Heartstring Samplery. Isn't that pretty? I just love these purples in there. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yep, purple flowers. And here's the called for. Well, I've got a couple on here that aren't called for. I was going to try something different with the purple, but it ended up I had to I had to order the Concord because the other that I was trying just did not work. So these are the flaws. Pretty. And here's, and I've got threads <clears throat> everywhere, so y'all just. It's occupational hazard. Excuse me. Doesn't look real pretty with these um, two and a half inch strips on it. That's okay. So here's the flosses in my stitch. Pretty. So 
So I've got kind of the bones over here of this group of leaves, and then the flower's gonna go right here. So hopefully Sunday I can get some of the leaves in and maybe start on the flower. The words won't take any time to stitch. <laughs> yep. There go. Got it. So this one, when I finish this one, it'll be another giveaway of nice. the chart. Well, somebody will enjoy getting that because that's a beautiful stitch. Yes. Just put this in the pile behind you. Yeah. All right. Okay, do you want to do one? Then I have... All right, I'll be glad to. I have two more left. Oh, boy. Oh, my. So, we got somebody uh, requested what, a few months back asking to... Oh, what are we doing? It was... Um, Which one? Mary. Mary had asked. It yeah. was back in December, I think, she asked. Yeah. Okay. She asked about uh, getting a base for her uh, tiny town uh, spool. A and pedestal. Pedestal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pedestal. Base. Pedestal. Yeah. Base. <laughs> okay. What's the, and so I made a mock-up of one. And I think that... Did I show this we one? We did. We showed that. Yeah, I think we showed this one to you. How that... Uh, got a base here. Mm -hmm. Which is nothing more than a base. And a little... little uh, lip here to, to catch the uh, bottom here and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, we actually made one out of uh, Sapelli, right? Sapelli, yes. Yeah. We had a customer that had seen our floss tube and she she said, Can I get one out of Sapelli? Yes. Yeah. And uh, Peter, you know, he said, Sure. Yeah. Can't show it to you because it's gone. I can't show it. I got pictures. But she's got pictures. <laughs> I can't show you physically, but we got pictures. It's, well, I mean, a picture says a thousand words here. Right? There you go. Yep. Yeah. Sapelli is so gorgeous. Oh, and okay. and it's that, very good uh, aromatic type of smelling wood as well, too. It's a exotic wood, brown, got beautiful lines, which we can't see really too much in the picture. But it is absolutely gorgeous piece of wood. It's kind of like mahogany. And, and here's uh, a pretty good shot of the tops. Yeah. Hope y'all can see that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, we're wanting to put those in the shop. Yes. And, and you were gonna make, well, you were gonna make more out of cherry and maple and sapelli. Yes. Okay. So people can, we can actually have them. So Mary, be on the lookout, or if you want one, go ahead and let me know and uh, we can do a custom order for you. Yes, we can, yeah. Um, yeah, the only you know thing we got going here, and I'll talk about this later, is is the the wood we've been getting, or the wood we're really having a hard time finding wood, uh, solid wood that we need. So I've got to come to a different process. I want to talk about that in a few minutes, but uh, for right now, so we got those we got those um, tiny towns with with the base, mm -hmm, with the pedestal. With we the had pedestal, that mm -hmm. uh, what's that rosewood Patagonia that you had made, right. totally not meant to be, and we've shown that several times. But how it just came together, like just that. came together. And, uh, but, but it doesn't have the lips, so it slips and slides. We've talked about that before. As a matter of fact, uh, that's how we spilled our coffee that's one time we, in a, a floss a while back. That's what but happened to my book. Got coffee. It got caffeinated. <laughs> yeah, uh, but um, you know, I mean, I did it for the for the uh, tiny town, but uh, pedestal can be can be made for any for anything anything at all. I mean, even a nevy, which I um, mean, not here, but you, know, you have you might want a a spool with your own specifications, size, and whatnot to. Uh, that uh, I can make for you there and mm -hmm. a pedestal go with it. I can, it can do that. I yeah. Can do that, yeah. We just, we have our limits that we did have a customer that is wanting a larger one and we're still, uh, that's in the plans. Uh, she wanted I'll a, show you that, that, that later on when we get okay, to it. Okay. Okay. What I've got to do for that. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, so what else do we have? Did you have anything else? Are you going to, you want me to go ahead and do my last two and then you're going to talk about that? Yes, please. Okay. I had two more. Um, I'm doing, I've been watching um, Laurie uh, Once Upon a Stitch and she does so many different challenges. And I know when Donna was here, I was, we were talking about, you know, there's got to be a way to touch more of our whips, um, you know, every month so we can get some finishing done, you know, because we everything we picked out, everything that we talked about, we love, mm -hmm. but it's just hard to get to it, you know, and sometimes I get so overwhelmed, I don't know what to do. So anyway, Laurie talks about the Magazine Monthly Challenge. I know that y'all have heard about that. Um, it is put on by Carolyn Zook of C. Zook Stitch, and she has a, a, a Facebook group that you can join, 
And then every month she puts out a challenge and it just helps you to kind of plug in your whips and you can set your own goals, what you want for it. Um, and uh, I just thought that was a really interesting, Laurie gets so much done. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do that. So this is my f first month and it's uh, bird's eye view. The theme is bird's eye view. And uh, the acrostic, there's an acrostic. So she gives you a letter, a word, and you're supposed to pull from your whips and kind of assign them to that letter. And the acrostic super challengers was a hot air balloon, but just the regular challenger, which I thought this being my first time, I'm gonna do regular, is balloon. So I've taken some of my whips and I've assigned for each one, like patriotic barn trio is B for the balloon, B and balloon. A is and a forest grew. Uh, L is love abide. The other L is what remains is love. Uh, turning leaves is the O, first O, and it's because of the orange, that it has so much orange in it. Uh, home sweet home uh, is uh, the second O because it's round. And then the Noel sampler is the N. Okay. So um, a lot of people will put their goal is like three hours or so many stitches. I want to be able to stitch on this these for two days if I can, which two days for me is only maybe three, two to three hours a day. Yeah. Uh, but then I'm up and down and doing other things too, so I might not get a straight three hours. So I didn't really fill that in yet, but that's my goal is to try to do two days. Sounds like a good plan. And I went ahead, yeah, I did the first one. It's um, for my bird's eye view, I chose Bluebirds of Happiness. Nice. Yeah, which was a stitch along I did with Carolyn. Now she's already finished. <laughs> yeah. And it's beautiful. I can't wait to see that frame, Carolyn. Yeah, go, Carolyn. Yep. Anyway, Bluebirds of Happiness by JBW Designs. Gorgeous chart. This was an exclusive uh, with Keepsakes, their Stitch Away 2023. And uh, then it came out. And Carolyn picked the chart, the fabric, the floss, everything up for me <laughs> while she was there. Because we had, I didn't get it when we were at Keepsake, Keepsakes in May, so... Probably the only thing you didn't get when we were on that trip. <laughs> didn't get to know. Uh, yeah. That was a good trip. It was a wonderful trip. Enjoyed that meeting all a bunch of new people oh, and no. just having a good time traveling around with you. It was so much fun. Yeah. Eating all kinds of good food and just seeing Ohio. Mm -hmm. Too much good food. Oh, okay. I got I, oh, oh. I thought I had it. Yeah. Hey, you're fresh. Hey, now, now, now. Hey, it's a family show here. Uh, anyway, here's my the floss in my stitch. So when I picked it up in uh, the two days, mm -hmm. I was able to get these two leaves and flowers. This the words may, and this flower vase right here. I would have gotten more, but I had to frog. You know how the frog comes to visit. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't have gotten that done. I probably wouldn't have picked that up this month if it hadn't been on that challenge. So, yay. Yay, good job. There go. Take that, that. So that was <laughs> that. And then I have one more thing that I touched, and this was on my whip go. Um, and it was a stitch along last year, year before last. Oh, hang on, let me find my stuff. It was a stitch along with uh, Terry and Jamie of Cornhouse for State Stitchers. Primrose, Christmas rules from Primrose. <laughs> Primrose. Primrose. <laughs> uh, Christmas. Primrose Cottage Stitchers. And when I stopped on it, Back then, I had the J and the O. I was down, had done all this, and I had the J and the O in, which I love that wreath right there. Mm. Yep. Pretty little wreath. I'm stitching this on 40 count stormy night with a called for floss. I'll pull that out for you. Uh, where is it? Here it is. I got a cute little fob on there. Candy cane. Isn't that pretty? It is. Yeah, I like that wreath too. It looks I nice. I do too. Isn't that pretty? That would be just pretty as a small, just in it a little. Would. Yeah. Okay. So 
So this is my progress. So I was able to finish the joy and start on this, you know, do that little border right there and these little uh, greeneries on the side and then start on the snowman on the sleigh. And I have another uh, tonight to work on it. So I'm hoping I can get, you know, that last, next to the last se section done. I might just work on it until I get a finish. Because I just have the ghost letting, and then down below is believe, and those are words, and they go really fast. Yeah, you got the finish line in sight. I got now. the finish line in sight. What a good feeling that is. <clears throat> Indeed. But isn't that cute? Indeed. <laughs> it's so cute. All these little <laughs> little things on here. We're gonna have so much neat, nice stuff to put up for come next Christmas. I know. Got to get it finished though. That's the only thing. If it doesn't do any good, just hanging up on my design wall. Does it? No, that's right. Okay. Thank you. There for you. Um, oh, is that, is that it? Or? That is it. Okay, all right. Well, I got something to show you. Another new idea, which uh, Kathy, a friend of Kathy's there, I think she was in Texas, requested a one-holer. Initially, we thought a tiny town, uh, two, one-holer. That won't. Initially, initially one-holer, yeah, and then she changed it and to And she five. modified it and said she would like to have actually a five-holer, but with one hole, one, uh, not a hole, but one place there, one, put sec a, one section to put a magnet in. So she wanted four holes where she could put scissors and stuff like that in there, and I thought, well, that's a neat idea. If it did a tiny town, I could do four regular holes, I thought, and then in the center, instead of where we normally put a, a fifth hole there for a pair of scissors or whatever, I thought I'd put the magnet. So I came up with this idea. Now, this is a piece of cherry. And that's going to fall right off because this is heavy on the end here. Yeah, okay. But there's a piece of cherry, regular tiny town. Again, I did I did the partially did the bottom, like I told you earlier. This was cut earlier. And this is the second half of it. Well, I did the top. And as you can see up here, it's got needles on it. I put a needle miner, needle, a magnet, I should say. It is a needle miner, but it's a magnet. I've got to put right in the center. So there's four holes there for that and the magnet, which mm -hmm. is one of those earth magnets, so it holds these needles real good. Real good. It, you know, this will keep something like this in place. Right now it's, Why, it's stuck sitting. there, but if something like a big handle, like that's kind of heavy. If I turn it, it'll probably drop. Oh, it seems to be doing pretty good. Or not. Yeah. 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 Just wait until I put it, hold it over your cup of coffee yeah. and then it'll drop. <laughs> I uh, dropped a needle uh, last night on the floor, remember? We, yeah, we found yeah. it though. Yeah. And we used this to pick it up. We did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it worked like a champ. It worked like a champ. Zapping the floor with my magnet. Yeah. Um, anyway, so this, I thought that's a kind of a neat idea. Let's start. I think I might do a few, a few of these, put them in the shop mm -hmm. when I get around to it as well. Or if when, you know, customers order it, they can they can say, hey, can I get a magnet in the center instead of a hole? In the center. And yeah. I, may do, I may do something like that instead of put, put it under the wood. Yeah, I love here. this one because you don't see the magnet, but it's like magic. Yeah, well, the magnets hold good. So, I mean, the, the, the needles hold good. So, maybe so. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this again. This came from somebody else's idea. This didn't, I can't yeah. take credit for this. From Etsy. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. she yeah. said, Can you do this? And we said, Yeah. And she, I love that when people call me and says, Can you, do, can you do this? Can you do that? Sometimes we can't, you know, or, you know, we can't do it right at the moment. Um, but you might can put it in, put it in his great little gray cells here. Yeah, all two of them. <laughs> This is kind of neat because this is pushing the needles around as I slide it around. It pushes the, oh. it, I think it magnetizes the pins in there. And they're they're yeah. not playing that like yeah. two kids in the sandbox yeah. here. Yeah. They're pushing each other yeah. around. I know my scissors get magnetized yeah. and my needle. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. So anyway, so that's something new. Wanted to show you there. Mm -hmm. and uh, That's a neat idea. Thank you, thank for, you that. for that idea. Yeah. Well, you keep talking. I'm going to go pull. We've okay. got um, Stitchy Kindness Hall. And a giveaway. Yeah, because what I've got to tell you, right. show you here next is, uh, uh, it's ex of extreme importance to me because I'm making these things. Um, again, this is, oh, this is it. I was making, I have to admit to you my mistakes. I was making a, a nebby needle spool. Looks so beautiful. It's nice and smooth. I cut the bottom, got the old ring done and that. Started doing the top and I didn't burn through there because kind of had to put brakes on that. But then I went to drill these holes in here, and as I'm holding this thing and I'm drilling down through here, I feel something warm on the inside of my hand. I'm glad you didn't drill your hand. And what happened here? I drilled the hole too close to the edge of the nebby needle. So this one is not destined for the fireplace. 
what is going what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shape in here and do like I did on like I did before did when I drove before, through. Yeah. yeah, so this will be like it'll still hold your scissors, but it's going to have like a little shape in the bottom here like a funnel or a flare or something like that. So I'm going to repurpose that. So So I make mistakes, but as Bob Ross says, you know, make happy accidents. That's right. We are having issues trying to find wood now for Sorry. our bigger spools, uh, specifically the Nebbies and the um, Tiny Town. So what I'm going to have to do, looking ahead in the future for to solve this problem, is I'm going to have to do, as a wood turner, what we do all the time we make bowls, and that is when we piece things together and uh, build the wood uh, to bake our make our spools with and this is going to cause a lot more work But if we can't get the wood then I'm not going to be working anyway, right? So anyway, what I did was I Started cutting I got some samples here little blocks of wood and as you can see here I cut these at a 30 degree angle mm -hmm. because I'm gonna make a six-sided round cylindrical shape here and the math is you draw uh, circles 360 degrees divided by how many pieces and then works out to the angle so you cut them to that and then when i cut those then i glue them all together and i have this what well, this is a very rough cylinder but there's the six pieces of another sample this is maple by the way which will be the actual uh drum for the um for the nebby needle okay it'll be the drum that's a little bit bigger but that's good because i give a little extra on top and bottom to allow for error could you do that with tiny towns too? Or is I it could too do it. In fact, I'm going to have to do it with tiny towns. Yeah. The same thing I'm going to do. It. And then, now, of course, I need a top and a bottom for this. So what I've got, I have several pieces of, of leftover wood when I cut the big pieces of wood to make our tiny towns or nubbies. I always yeah. end up with these little pieces left over. So this one here happens to be poplar, so it's not a very good sample to use. But still, I'll put one on the top and then I'll... Put one on the, on the bottom, wherever that went, yeah. And then, of course, cut it down and shape it, and it will be, I'll have to build the, the Nebby Needle or Tiny Town out of that. So that means i got to buy wood that's like two inches thick and then mill it down and, and cut it and angle it and, and glue work. it together and stuff like that. Um, I have another piece here. This is a little bit smoother. This is a piece of uh, oak. That, as you can see, it's uh, that's not quite two inches thick, but that's fine. That'll still work good when I put the top and bottom on there. And of course, this this top here is a little bit thin, thin yeah. a little bit too thin. But just to give you an idea, what I do what I do when I glue all these pieces together, top and bottom will be thick, and the same kind of wood. Okay. So and I cut up a that's bunch. A great of, idea. I got I got I got wood cut my little wedges here in cherry. Here. I can do it in walnut or anything, but. So what I've so got we could make walnut spools then. I can start making walnut spools oh. uh, with tiny towels, nebbies, and that kind of thing. And again, as I alluded to earlier, I'm going to have to go back to the production line business where first thing first, I got to take my wood, mill it down, and make all these little pieces like this. Okay, that's a, then the next step is to put them all together and get this. Mm -hmm. And then I've got to, uh, you know, I've got to even up the sides or the ends so that they're completely flat. Mm -hmm and mill up the other pieces of wood that I've got and For the top glue sides. them on there. And then I could start, well, then I have to cut, you know. Then you start shaping. Then I'll start shaping them. Well, where before you had a, see, we, we normally buy our wood four by four by 12 or 24, mm -hmm. whatever we can yeah. get. And then, so he can cut uh, four inches or five inches, depending on what spool it is, right? right exactly. And then yeah. start his shaping right then. Yeah. So this is all that, all what he's talking about is going to have to be in addition to that. Yeah. Because we're getting so we can't find cherry. The the um, walnut's gone. Walnut's gone completely. Maple, Maple has cherry. gone sky. Oh my high. god. Well, the cherry. That, and it'll bring the price out significantly, but but it's all that but then extra. But you got work. the labor. So I've got to make a boatload of. Uh, of course, I you know buy got to go out buy that wood, and then I've got to do the milling on it. But I'll do a whole bunch of wedges at one time, then then glue a bunch together at one time, and so it's a process. And it's a lot more work for me, but sure that's what is. we've got to do to continue to do this there. So, yeah. but with that in mind, as I go through this, if I might could find a, you know, wood, I may not need to use two inch thick. I might could buy wood that's, that's smaller like I did with that piece of oak. This is only like a little over an inch. 
So it would be yeah. more hollow in the center. It'd be hollow in the center, but who cares? Because it's you know it's tough and that's closing. It should be lighter for shipping too. Mm -hmm. so that's lighter a good for thing. shipping, but still sturdy <laughs> enough that it's not yeah. going to go flying off a table, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just want to show you all those pieces that, to let you know that there, there's going to be a change in these that are coming down uh, because they're not going to be solid. Well, they're going to be pieced pieces, but I do have a mock-up sample of one that I did almost completely. This I, I just took some pine. Because yeah. I like to test the pie, it's easy to go. And I made the cylinder, and I made the top and bottom, and I attached the top and bottom, and then went ahead and turned it and sanded it. I didn't finish it, obviously, because this is just a mock-up yeah. for something there. But obviously, I would do it on a larger one for a larger spool and that kind of thing. But this is what it will look like. And as you can see, I mean, it's still nice, round, cylindrical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll have holes in the top for scissors or magnets or whatever we do with that. And uh, so... So with that in mind, though, too, I mean, that's just like the real straight point that I could uh, make any, if you have any size that you want for a stitch that you do, you'd like a spool to put it on or something mm -hmm. like that, I could do that as well, too. But I will be piecing for now. Like, you can't even see the, the joints. Are, well, yeah, you can see them. You can tell it's pieced. Just when the wood changes. Just the when grain. the wood changes. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, try, I try to match up wood the best I can, but even, you know, best efforts, that kind of thing. But uh, so anyway, that'll work nice. A nice little stool. A uh, stool. Spool. <laughs> you wouldn't want to use that for a stool. Um, yeah. So that's that's a change in direction for this now, and that's you're going just, forward. You're adapting. You're adapting to. I got to adapt. You know, what we or retire. Yeah. I ain't retiring. No. So, anyway, hey, if you have any questions about this, anything like that too, different type of woods or plans that you might have in your head, thoughts in mind, please let us know. Yeah. She reads everything. I don't generally read the comments, not because I don't yeah. like to. Yeah. Just, I ain't got time to. You don't to. have time. But, but uh, I'll tell him if y'all uh, yeah, say we, something we'll about Peter. <laughs> and we'll discuss it and ha if you have any questions or anything like that because we, you know, want to do, uh, open to new things and right. love right. to try new things, but I've got to change the way we do our work, our business. So. Right, right. So that's, that's it for that. me. Woohoo! Yeah. I am D-U-N done. Done. Well, you can. As Gump would say. Yeah. Gump. Okay, let's see. I got it. That some happy mail. Um, Trally, hey Trally, <laughs> she sent me some more beautiful cards. Trally, you are just on a roll, <laughs> getting these things reproduced and then your take own the furry football from your her. own designs. I mean, Come here, flea bag. That's, that's awesome. We love it. Uh, she sent me, of course, my printer. Forgive me, is not uh, printing quite properly, so this isn't a good representation of of her charts, uh, but you can go to her Etsy store and, and see them. This is Mary Bryan's 1813, an English sampler reproduction. Mm -hmm. nice. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love it. And so many of these have the little dogs in them. This is NB Flower Base, and she does three different uh, color variations, which I'd love to see that. Yeah, you know, I guess the printer would print out nicely. I uh, know. I'm sorry. Oh, well. There was a chart that came out um, for market that I would love to have gotten, but it was in blue and light blue and golds. And I would love to see some color variations in that because I don't know that I would want to stitch it in those colors. Anyway, I... I get off my, my thinking gets off the milk factory <laughs> sampler this one is so cute Charlie I love this one this is an original sampler nice you had the cow <laughs> I've got to do that one I love the game the gingham border <laughs> and that little bunny rabbit this is so cute <laughs> oh huh, that's gonna have to be a new start and then here is her information so which, I'll, in which I will put that's the Spanish stitcher on Etsy and she's also on Instagram, The Spanish Stitcher by Trelly. She's got a YouTube channel, so go check her out. And she's also on Ravelry. So take a screenshot of that, and you can uh, get her information. But you can also look down below, and I'll, I'll put the links in. Thank you so much, Trelly, for sharing these with me. I'm definitely going to do Very the nice. cow, the milk, the milk factory there. <laughs> so, and all these, I love to do them all. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> Bonnie with um, she's the Nebby Needle she shared her um, charts that she made for the Nebby Needle spools 
course, y'all have seen this one, the don't touch scissors, scissor spool. <laughs> but these are her new ones that she released at market. And these are seasonal spools. She's got spring and summer. Yes. Really cute. I just love them. And here is autumn and winter. At winters, I just love the blue in that. That's great fabric that you chose that there, is. Bonnie. That's very nice. And she put one of our little bee skips in the picture. Uh, and then this was her Christmas um, Santa spool. Yeah, that's a little blue. I think it's nice when you use a different colored material rather than just the, the you know, the, the cream colors and yeah. stuff like that because it really does, you know, as far as painting, again, painters do that a lot. They do a black it. background or a green background or something like that. And then all the colors that go along, makes it makes it really pop. interesting. It yeah, does. It's a pop, yeah. And then our um, Wake Forest Library Stitchers, hey friends, they always <laughs> um, bring stuff. And Kay came with oodles and oodles of cases, uh, two Tuesdays in a row, mm -hmm. and brought floss. And she said, take what you want and look at all this beautiful Rivera Oh my goodness, these are silks. <laughs> these are gorgeous silks. Thank you, Kay. The Thread Gatherer Silk. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? And this blue. This is Swa Cristal. And a Veraswa. I love this, this peachy pink color. <coughs> Here is another a Veraswa. That would be a nice uh, fall color. And I've never heard of this. It's uh, Made in China Empress Silk. Look at that. Empress Oh, silk. it's like... Oh, it's like hair. I mean, it's so light. Isn't that beautiful? It came from China. It might be here. <laughs> oh, gosh. So Thank you, Kay, for now, sharing with where us. Where did my hair go? And then Judy always finds the neatest thing. She goes to <laughs> um, auctions and, uh, you know, different, different uh, sales, you know. And she found these old jello molds. Wow. Aren't they neat? Imagine that. And she had a whole stack of them. So she said, take them, take them, yeah. whatever you want. So everybody was getting a couple, and they'd be really cute with a pin cushion. Put a pin cushion Wouldn't in. that be yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's a good idea. So that was Happy Mail. Happy Mail. Okay, so I'll put this down here. Yeah. And then my haul. Um, I got Vicki Clayton's in, silks in, and these are actually two months because it's been a while since we've been with you. This is the saw. This is the. No, no, no. Are you curious about that? Oh my goodness! You she like wants to Vicky's? take up cross stitching too. Those are. Um, let me open it up. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are so silly. <laughs> Look at Vicky's colors. Her solid monthly. Beautiful, huh? I love Vicky silks. You little monkey, you want to get in all the bananas, don't you? And then here are her variegated. <laughs> this was the variegated club of the club of the month, month of whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that? Yeah, is it pretty? Yes, very pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah, it tastes like. So that's Vicky's. Nice and way. then Brenda, you know, I told y'all had had been enabled by Brenda. She, her last, I think it was her last floss too, or it might've been the one before she was talking about beeswax that she had ordered from Amazon that she's using for conditioning. And she said silks. <coughs> so I went to Amazon. I thought, okay, they're going to all be gone. <laughs> but I went there pretty quick and you get uh, eight bars. And I can't remember what this was, but it was really, really reasonable. It's a hundred percent pure natural beeswax. Hmm. Oh, so that thread slide through. It just the... conditioned the thread, yeah, right. and it takes the um, electricity out too, yeah. so you're not fighting it. And she's going to put hers in a little tin, and I've got this little tin that I thought would be nice to just put two, uh, two blocks in. So, thank you, Brenda, for that suggestion. Good idea. Great idea. And then uh, Judy was, I think it was Judy that brought some silks that she had gotten from a uh, Facebook group called Mose. It was so pretty. 
And she said, you just ask to join the Facebook group and then once a, or whenever she can, whenever the Mo can, she'll put uh, what she has available uh, on there. And it's really reasonable and really pretty. You can get a hank or you can get a skein. Mm. So these came out and I just think they're beautiful. And I said, me, me, please, me, please, me, please. <laughs> and I uh, don't know that it has, they don't have a name. Oh no, this says teal, strawberry pie, and gris. Gris? Gris. I don't know. Gris. I love the strawberry pie. I just thought that was so pretty. Those would be pretty together in a stitch, wouldn't they? Sure would. Very nice. Very silks. Nice. Silks. So I ordered those. And Here. then I got in my um, Color and Cotton Fabric of the Month Club. <laughs> And this, I think, is my last month of getting 36 count, and I'm switching to Ada, just so I can get something a little bit different. This is hay bale. Hay bale. Hay bale medium. So there must be a hay bale light or a hay bale dark. I hope that's, it doesn't look quite true to color, but. hard without being here actually the, the camera just doesn't transfer to color sometimes like uh well and the we have the window open and it's it's cloudy outside so there's no sun oh there's sun but there's the glare. Oh, yeah. that's a little bit better that's more true to color that's a nice color pretty color it is yeah, very pretty what did i drop nothing okay we the dog just jumped out oh that was his that was his jingle jingle. Thump. And then I wanted to try some um, 32 count Lugana. 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 Is that Itali Italian? <laughs> Sounds like it doesn't. <laughs> That's a lose. And this is fiber on a whim. Um, I forgot it. Yes. Mm. Affogato. Why do I get the hiccups when I get on here? Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> That's pretty, isn't it? And I think that is true to color. And I have the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your breath. I scare you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Okay. Okay. So. Not finished yet. I got All right. one more. One more. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I have my hiccups. <laughs> Let me take a sip of water. There you go. Do you want to talk? Do you want to say something? Hi. I don't know what else to say. I got I share short everything I can say. I'm just occupying space right now. Okay. If y'all belong to the um, fanciful flamingos <laughs> gift club, <laughs> stitchy box. You're of missing goodness. out if you're not. Yeah, you're missing out if you're not, but if you if you belong and you haven't gotten it, which you should have gotten it by now, and you don't want to see what's in it, look away. Yeah. Okay, uh, this, I was going to try to save this and open it, you know, during our floss tube, and so I put it put it behind, you know, put it away, and I tried not to think about it, and I kept thinking about it, thinking about it. I said, oh, I'm going to go ahead and open <laughs> it. So this is my first month of getting it. Or Isn't that pretty? And that's the way coming. it comes. That's the way it comes. She ships it like that with her pretty sticker on it and pretty box. I love packaging. <laughs> and it comes, oh, okay, all with pretty pink tissue and a cute little sticker that says, thank you. Your purchase has made my day. I hope this package brightens yours. Isn't that nice? And she gives you a um, list. This is my favorite things box. She gives you a list of everything that's in it. And there is definitely a glare in here. I apologize for that. <coughs> small to read that. I don't know if I could read that if I put it up closer. Yeah, whatever. Okay. So Sweet Ring, Sweet Wing Studio. <laughs> Say that 10 <laughs> times real fast. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty, guys. That is nice. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. 
There's a cross in the center. Yeah. yeah. He said, uh, he is not here for he is risen just as he said. Beautiful Easter. With the bunny and the lamb looking at the cross. Comes with the floss. It says floss pack. DMCs. Pretty colors. Comes with the fabric. 16 count 80. 80. Ada <laughs> from Grace Notes Fabrics. I like see Grace those Notes. Now. Yeah. You get the, the little finishing um, that goes on the back. The fabric. There's some counting pins that you can use. Uh, cute little uh, retro postcard that has uh, all the project information. Isn't that cute? What a great idea. I love that. Oh, yes. And, oh, there's a private, oh, private, oh, I didn't see this. Private Zoom stitch along with Susan O'Brien, Sweet Ring, Sweet Wing Studio. You can say it. You can. <laughs> I can say it. There's a, wow. um, still, there's still stuff. Project bag tag with the Easter Bunny and little, little tag on there. And a sticker. Cute little bunny sticker and some jelly bellies <laughs> and and this uh, Scott's Mountain Crafts handcrafted fiber tools uh, floss winder. Here's a floss winder for DMC. Isn't that neat? I guess you put it through there, wind it around, and then cut it, and you're ready to go. Very nice. I haven't seen those. So that is really nice. That's a lot of stuff. She she did a beautiful job putting this together and thinking of everything that you need. A lot of stuff in that little kit. A lot of stuff in that box. I can't remember who she said the... Oh, I think um, Annie, the proper stitcher, is next month. Oh. Or the next, not next month, but the next package. I'm thinking these are quarterly, I, I believe. So, so that's my haul or my delightful deliveries. Hey, nice. <laughs> nice, nice, oh, nice. Delightful nice. deliveries. So we do uh, have some stuff we'd like to give away. And this is all stuff that's been shared with, with us. So we want to, you know, pass it on. Uh, to y'all, my hiccups are gone. How about that? Yay! Good okay. water. So this came from our friend in Maui. She sent a plethora of charts, wonderful charts, beautiful charts. So I want to pass pass some of these on to y'all. And uh, the first one is calendar crates. Okay, we need to. Okay, this is giveaway. You want to be the secretary? Well, if you give me the pen. Okay. We have January, February, May, June, July, and December. So there are some missing, but this would get you almost, you know, all of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you, you, there's just six that you would have to get. <clears throat> um, so if you're interested in these, let's see. Calendar. Calendar. Yeah. Use the word calendar. And here's another one that she sent. It's Cut, Press, and Sew by Lori Holt. This is really cute. It's so Emma Stitchery. So if you're interested in this, um, use the word press. 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 So that's the Cut, Press, and Sew. Remember, you must be 18. Let me get all the out there. You must yeah. be 18. <laughs> Don't use the word giveaway. Yeah. I think that's all I need to say. Y'all know the. Stop <laughs> cooling out. Okay, yes. now this next one is the Chicken Club. And I don't know how many are in this club, but wow, there's a lot here. Oh, there's 12. So we've got um, number two, which is Florence. Number five, Hank. Number six, Prudence. Number seven, Edna. 
Number nine, Percy. These are so cute. <laughs> These are designed by Laurie Holder, of course. Be in my bonnet. Penny. Pearl. There's Pearl. And here's Henrietta. So there's supposed to, there's 12 in the club. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's just four That's missing. Bad. That's pretty That's good. A lot of them. And I thought, it, you know, I thought, well, do I want to do these separate individually? Or I'm just going to go ahead and, don't yeah. you think, all of them? That way you're, yeah. you can work towards your set. There you go. A lot of people are stitching these. So I think they're adorable. But I I just have to, I've got so much. And I've got so much coming from market. And oh my gosh, that filing cabinet over there. I'm going to have to buy another filing cabinet. How about that? <laughs> chicken. What <laughs> word, Chicken. Oh, chicken. 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 You got right. that? Yeah, okay. I got it. And then, um, this is the last I'm going to share from what she sent. This is Stitching with the Housewives. Uh, home is where the wreath is. And it's, uh, this is number one. So I guess that's what you start with. And it has the H, M, and E, and then the first center. And, oh, no, maybe, maybe I'm wrong there. I'm not sure what it is. Home is where the wreath is. So maybe it comes with... Let me see what it comes with. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yes, it comes with H-O... The O... What is that? Llamas. Like snowman. Snowman. Are they snowmen? Oh yeah, that's right. There's the arms. I thought it was a. I mean, There's the O. Snowman. No, no, that's that is the O. So there's a couple of llamas sticking here up inside oh, the barn. This has got a lot of. Oh, this has got a lot of charts in it. Wow, these bonus are cute. there. Bonus. These are really cute. Oh, look at the strawberries. Ooh, you sure you want to give that away? I know. <laughs> See, <laughs> Scratch that one. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, these are really cute. So it must come with everything that's on the front. It doesn't really show what's on the front. Oh, it must be all that. Okay. Yeah, you really can't see that well. I know you can't see that that well. Very pretty. Very pretty. Right. And then swap number three. <coughs> so if you want this, uh, just put home. We don't have, no, we have no, we got home already. Oh, you want home or instead of re or wreath? Home? Oh, wreath is fine. Have wreath we got home fine. already? We got I don't think we got home okay. already. Do we? Wreath. W-R-E-A-T-H. Right, calendar, press, chicken, and wreath. What do you, okay. what do you want home? Wreath is fine. Wreath is fine. Okay. W-R-E-A-T-H. The wreaths have it. Okay. And then uh, oh, more. my friend Kathy oh. at our Wake Forest Stitchy Group, Library Stitchy Group, she brought a, a bucket full of floss that she found. Um, I don't. I can't remember exactly where she said she found it, but she asked if anybody wanted it, and people took what they wanted, and she gave the rest to me to give to y'all. So I thought that was really sweet of her to do that. Thank you, Kathy. Yes. And then this was in it too. This is fun summer gift tags and it's all kinds of fruit. And they, this is a kit for all those tags. So it's got uh, melons. Thanks, a melon. I'm so grateful. <laughs> Squeeze the day. Love you very much. <laughs> we can make a great pair or we make a great pair. Apple of my eye, lime all yours. Aren't you sweet? <laughs> uh, so if, if you want this, and that's the fun summer gift tags, say tags. Okay. And then, okay, come here, come here, come here. Um, there's all this floss that she sent. So we've got a variegated purple, a bag of variegated purple. Just say purple. Say purple. Say purple. We've got a big bag of blue, royal blue. We've got a, a um, bag of pink, which that's not a whole lot in that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we do the pink variegated and the pink together? So you just say pink. And then a mega big bag of green. Lots of green. Lots of green. This would be wonderful if you're making um, 
Well, I don't know what, what it would be great for. If you're doing punch needle, you know, because you can, you can use it. You know, that takes a lot of floss. Um, yeah. Or you can break up, break it up and, you know, use it for different things or give it away. We got six things all together. Oh, well, these are, these are different. So all this floss, you say purple, blue, pink, or green. Or, yeah. or, or, this, or that, or that, that. Yes, yeah. So not all that's going to go together. Okay. Okay, does that make Clear sense? Clear as mud. Clear as mud. She knows what she does. Okay, so, uh, wow, we're an hour and 24 minutes. Yikes. And I think we went pretty fast. Yeah, so we done, about to wrap it up. We are done. Except um, for scripture. Except for scripture. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, gosh. You are ready, Freddie. I am ready, yeah. Why did I doubt? I'm around here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, once again, thank you so much for listening to us today, and it's been a great time uh, sharing some time with you there. And mm -hmm. sorry, so long in between these things. I just, uh, I, know. I know I'm busy, and I know Kathy's busy too because I, of the business there. I just I just make the stuff. She's the one who does everything else, the accounting and the contact and the shipping and we got all the that taxes kind of done, stuff. yay. She got the taxes done now, so life is we're breathe, breathing easier. We're very thankful again. for that. Yeah. And uh, but thank you for for watching. It's it is really nice to be here with you again for this time. And yeah. I'd like to end with a word from uh, from the Word of God, which is from Second Timothy one and nine. It says, "Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to His own purpose and grace, which He has given to us in Christ Jesus." Yeah before time began mm. amazing thing amazing thing thank yeah. you so much and may god bless you mm -hmm. richly yes thank you for watching i know we got a lot of um, subscribers and we've gotten a lot of new subscribers and we really appreciate it so much uh, we'd love to hear from you <laughs> uh, i go through and i heart everything and i i try to get back to you and uh, respond and you know kind of get a conversation going back and forth so we just thank you and we appreciate you and we look forward to spending more time with you in the coming days so god bless everybody Amen. happy bye -bye. stitching bye bye <laughs> leo says bye he says feed me, feed me. <laughs>